Hello everybody. I had to switch over to my personal phone instead of YouTube because YouTube is actually critiquing everything that I'm doing right now. I'm currently overstanding Biden's administration. Uh, their entire tactic on helping out the world has faltered time and time and again. They are unresponsive to administrative letters, text messages, phone calls. Um, most of the actual ambassadors, ambassador is another word for a king. Right now, uh, the European area of the world having to do with the UK, their king has just fallen. Usually, after an episode such as that, it's for a reason. Um, going back to lineage and time, certain things are set in place that other people don't want you to know about. I have no problem talking about them whatsoever. My entire family has been based in the United States and I've been raised around military men of action and women of action my entire life. Uh, doesn't matter which branch it is. I have all that credentials behind me as well. Running a country is something I've been doing ever since I was a child. Uh, most of the administration in effect right now at the White House is actually ensuring your demise. Now, meaning they are actually not even trying to answer some of the basic things that you should be taking care of. You know, the, the accommodations, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. You have Catholics in there back to back. Our last president actually got 45,000 prosecuted for pedophilia and sex acts it's actually a giant CIA operation to rid the world of evil and it turns out we still have evil in the White House considering most of the Catholics are bowing down to an angel named Lucifer now that is actually factual information information um, I've been studying my entire life to be the world's best peacekeeper and I have no problem getting on a podium and speaking to people. I do it every day. Um, I don't have to make fun of everybody or make them into a disgrace. Usually their actions do it themselves. I don't need to victimize or villainize anyone because they're their own victims and villains. All I hear from the White House is this guy's a motherfucker. And yeah, you're right. Your mother loves me. She fucking loves me. Let me tell you. <laughs> I've had 36 years on this earth to walk around and see some of the dumbest cunts in office fuck up some of the simplest things on purpose for an actual dollar bill, snake boys, money. That's all they care about. That's all they ever cared about. I've got history backing it up. My lineage is ready to kick them in the fucking face. Every single one of them. I'm not prejudiced at all. Biden already knows how I felt. He knows how I feel now. I've sent him five letters. Now, his administration isn't going to vouch for that, but good thing I take pictures. Good thing I back up information. I back up things six times over. I was in the United States Air Force for a while, and I was handling one of the biggest problems that people actually never knew about, which was actually handling a species that is indigenous to this planet who is trying to portray themselves as beings from another world. Turns out they are just con artists. Uh, some of the actual angels on this planet that are walking around in human form, they actually do the best they can to keep everything in line without stuff falling through and faltering. Everyone in the White House right now is actually, believe it or not, batting for the other side. That was Trump's issue with staying in the White House. You can't stay in the White House if it's flooded with fucking vampires. Go all the way back to Oslo, Norway. Abraham Lincoln sent help to the Austrian as well as German people because they were actually having an issue with this indigenous population that loves to eat children, loves to kidnap, rape, and subjugate women as well as kill men and eat them for their flesh. We have legislation right now that is actually against the uh, consumption of human flesh. There are ones that you don't know about that are stepping out of their holes and trying to do the right thing. Now, what side they are on, if they're actually preventing the loss of life, I think that's a good thing. We've had the West Coast, 
burnt down. We've had Colorado burnt down. Canada has been burnt down. Mexico has been burnt down. Brazil has been burnt down. Every place Obama has taken this fucking race of trash around to populate the earth. Well, that's exactly what COVID-19 was for. COVID-19 is an aerosol to rid the world of all these fucking problems that you do not know about. I spent most of my life in intelligence and I had to get out of the Air Force considering it was so fucking compromised. Some of my own family members were dropped into a, a meat grinder in the Middle East and they didn't know what they were fighting. A lot of my predecessors in 2002, 2001, 1999, you name it, have been fighting biblical monsters ever since they had military service starting. Right now, America's actual foothold in the world is to keep peace, but we actually have individuals that are compromised in the actual White House. That is a fact. That is non-negotiable, non-debatable, and <laughs> the buck really will stop here. You have my word on that. My family has done nothing but try to keep the peace between all the people of America and other places on different continents. When it comes down to everything being done and said from the bottom level all the way to the top and back down again, that has been my prime duty for the United Nations, United States, every country has been generally signing peace treaties for the past 240 years to rid the world of an evil that no one even know about. There have been children missing in the woods, women missing in the woods, and it's because there are a lot of politicians in play that are actually doing underhanded shit you don't know about. So here's the breath of fresh air that you needed. I have documentation to back it up. And I'm Joshua Alamos. Whether you say it in Hebrew, Spanish, Latin, Aramaic, doesn't matter. Leader of the people, God on high. All these individuals would actually use this information to benefit their situation and I'm not going to fucking have it. They use things such as your social security number which is on bond paper. Your actual information, your social security number, that's an account number. They use this instead of uh, tattooing a number on your arm so you're not ready for the D-Day camps that all the World War II vets talk about. Best way to enslave everybody is to get everybody hooked up with this system. I'm here to critique the system and knock out the fucking enemy. God bless America. I already did.